Alright, what is up guys, it's your boy Darsh, and in this tutorial I'll be talking about the math class. And the math class is very important. Uh, it helps you do, you know, complex math operations that you normally can't do on four function. It involves things like sine, cosine, logarithmic, um, you know, everything like that. And I'll just be going over the basic ones, and in the description of this video I'll post you know all the available methods so once you see how I do a couple of these you can look at those and see how to do all of them if you need to but in many cases you don't really need to do all of them so I'll just be going over a couple ones so to get like constant values such as uh, pi um, you can do double pi equals math and anytime you're <clears throat> anytime you're referencing something from the math library that Oracle or the Java made um, you want to just do math dot and in this case we want to get a double right so in this case we're going to do uh, they have Euler's numbers or you can also get pi just in pi so system out um, pi and that should give us you know, 3.14 right here uh, next up we want to get um, I'm going to do some of the other functions. So let's say, I'm in, uh, let's say we're trying to do an absolute value. So I just make a negative number positive. So let's do int negative equals negative 55. You can print out um, you can print out a negative, and it'll print out a positive value. Or right now it'll print out a negative. But if you do math dot abs, and I can put the uh, put the negative number inside here it should turn out to be positive and it does um, next one we have is ceiling or math seal and basically what that does is any uh, double we have that's mm, it's at a certain decimal point it'll just round it up no matter what it's at so let's say I got 5.1 um, we do uh, Oh, I never assigned anything. So double uh, n equals that. And let's say I do math dot seal and we do n. Right, and when we do that, it should print out 6. And that's what it does. Um, we can even do like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. As long as it has a decimal place and some value, it'll turn into a 6. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you do a 5, yeah, it doesn't do that. Okay, so the opposite of this, so let's say I have uh, 5.4, right? Uh, it gets to 6, right? But what if I want to just round down everything? So 5.7, 5.8, so if you normally round this, it'll go to a 6. But what if I just want to keep it at a uh, 5? So in this case, we can do math.floor. And if you think about it, a ceiling is above you, so it go above, and floor would be you know on the ground, so it would go down to back to the closest integer. In this case, it would be five. Um, next, we got <coughs> max and mins. This just gives us the highest numbers that you can use. So if I do uh, integer dot max value, that'll just give me the max value from integer happens to be this number and we can do uh, integer dot minimum value min underscore value and that'll give us the lowest number so that's pretty cool stuff uh, next thing we got are powers it's just to do you know like 2 to the power 2 5 to the power 3 things like that uh, in this case we're gonna do this out and then you do math dot power and inside the first one, you want to put our base number, meaning the number that's not an exponent. In our case, we're going to do, let's do, uh, let's do 4. And you want to set the power to any number we want, so let's do 3. And once we do this, we should get the correct value, and yeah, we do, 64. Uh, just to test this, we can use a extremely large number, so let's do 99 to the power of 56 and you get this really big number and 
you're like, why is this a decimal place? But at the end, it goes E to the 111. This just means um, times 10 to the power 111, meaning there's falling 111, or not 111 zeros, but it goes all the way 111 times. Right, so this just means, this just converts into scientific notation, ideally. Um, next thing we have is method random. And this is very useful actually. So we can use a for loop to kind of demonstrate how this works. So int x equals zero. And uh, let me just create a for loop real quick. Let's look through this 10 times. And basically the way math, uh, math random works is it generates a random number. And we can specify which range we want our numbers in. Typically um, the formula for math random is Math uh, random. You want to multiply by your uh, by your range of your number plus one, and your. Um, so in this case, we're trying to do one through ten, right? The range is nine. So plus one. So that's. I just write the formula. Range plus one. And you want to add this by your min. So basically you multiply by range plus one and you add by your min. So let's put that in practice. So system out, and we're gonna do this all in one line because why not? And at the end of this for loop, we wanna yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh print and what do we want to print? Um we wanna print the formula. So math at random. We want a random number between uh our range would be in this case. 10 or 9, 1 through 9, 1 through 10, and you want to add a 1, so 10, plus the minimum number, which is 1. Uh, math at random returns a number between 0 and 1 in decimal places, so by multiplying by 10, and you want to reference it as an int, so round down all the decimals to an integer, right? So now when we print it out, we get a random number. Not sure why it's doing that. Uh, I don't have a space either. But it's returning all ones, which is weird. Must be missing some parentheses. Or maybe this. Yeah, I think that does the trick. So now, as you can see, it returns a number 1 through 10. Or in this case, we didn't hit a 10. There we go, we hit a 10. So basically it goes through 1 through 10. Um, the reason why I was returning 1s all the time because of parentheses. So instead of casting as an int, it was casting the math at random into an int. So math at random goes from 0 to 1. So it just rounds, it never gets to 1, it rounds, it goes to like 0.99. Well, 0.99 as an integer is 0. So it's just doing 0 plus 1, and that's why. So make sure you always have parentheses when you're casting as an int. So now we got 1 through 10. Um, basically, by using this formula, we can get, let's try 1 through 100, right? So, um, so a range of 1 through 100 would be 99, plus 1, that'd be 100. Uh, and 1, we start with number 1. So this just goes through every single number, as you can see down here. A uh, new number every time. Just generates a random number. It's very useful if you're trying to do anything with probabilities or just need a random number for something very useful. Um, next thing we're going to be talking about are rounding stuff. So this one rounds it to the normal rounding places that we think. Anything above 0.5 goes to the next number. So let's do int uh, round equals, um, I set it to a number that does round up, 5.7, and in this case we want to print this out. Uh, we want to do the method math.round and this will be uh yeah oh wait what, what am I doing? Uh, we'll put round inside here. Um and basically when we round something it'll go up this time to a uh six. Oh yeah I forgot. This didn't print out okay I forgot. So I have a print here, but it still stays on the same line. Messed up there. Okay, 
so you got six. Uh, let's do a number that doesn't round up, so 5.4, just like, never mind. And that'll go down to a five, so you can see that. And if we do 5.5 right on the edge, it should go to a six, and it does. So basically, um, there's one more last one, which is square root. So let's have an integer that we know it has a square root of, so integer um, equals 64. And that should return 8, so uh, math.sqrt. In this case, we put sqrt. And when we do this, it should return an 8. Now let's do a number that we know that doesn't have one. Let's do 80, right? And that returns a perfect decimal place of that number. It doesn't round, it doesn't do anything. A perfect decimal place of that number. But if we do 81, which is 9, it's a 9. So that's pretty much the basic math or random tutorials. Um, there is sine, cosine, and everything else. I'll be putting that in the description, both for beginners and for basic uh, use. You don't really use those that often. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one. Peace.